Welcome to the explainer. Today, we're gonna unlock the secrets that are probably sitting right on your kitchen shelf. We're breaking down how simple, everyday foods can be an incredibly powerful tool in the fight against diabetes. Let's just kick things off with a number that is, well, it's just staggering. In India alone, we're talking about over 77 million people living with diabetes. To put that in perspective, that's about one out of every six people with diabetes on the entire planet, making it the diabetic capital of the world. So that leads to this really big question, right? The one we're gonna to explore today. What if the power to turn this whole thing around isn't miles away in a pharmacy, but it's actually closer than we think? Okay, so let's get right into it. To really get this, we've gotta understand what's happening inside our bodies. And it all starts with the very first thing so many of us do the moment we wake up. Think about it. So many of us start the day with a cup of sugary chai, or maybe even thinking we're being healthy with a bowl of fruit on an empty stomach. But what happens? It kicks off this vicious cycle. Your blood sugar just skyrockets. Then your pancreas goes into overdrive, pumping out insulin to deal with the sugar, and then the crash. You're left feeling tired, you can't think straight, and you're craving the exact same stuff that caused the problem in the first place. Now imagine that spike and crash cycle happening not just once, but every single day, for years. Well, eventually, your body's cells just get tired of hearing the alarm. They start to ignore insulin signal. That is what we call insulin resistance, and it is the direct pathway to prediabetes and eventually type 2 diabetes. And I love this slide because it shows so clearly the two different paths your day can take. On one side, you've got that crazy energy roller coaster fueled by sugary foods, and on the other, you have steady, sustained energy from making smarter choices. And we're not just talking about physical energy, we're talking about the difference between mental clarity and that awful brain fog. So you're probably asking, how do I get off that crazy roller coaster? Well, the secret is learning how to use a really powerful concept to take back control. It's called the glycemic index. The glycemic index, or GI, sounds complicated, but it's really not. It's basically just a score that tells you how fast a food's gonna make your blood sugar go up. You can see things like white rice and bread are high up there. They cause a super fast spike. The goal, to live in that green zone, the low GI category as much as possible. But here's the cool part, and this is a total game changer. You don't actually have to give up all your favorite high GI foods. Nope, you just have to be smart about how you combine them. It's a trick called positive food composition. And this quote just nails it, right? You take something high glycemic, like white rice, and you simply add a low GI food, like ghee, which is a great fat, or some dal for protein. And boom, you blunt that sugar spike. You're basically hacking the system and lowering the overall glycemic hit of your whole meal. It's brilliant. And get this, it's not just what's on your plate, it's the order you eat it in. This matters so much. When you start your meal with fiber and fats, like a salad, and then eat your protein, you're creating a kind of buffer in your stomach. It slows down how fast the carbs you eat last get absorbed. It's an amazing trick to stop that sugar spike, and you know what? It helps you feel full faster, too. Okay, so now we know how to combine foods and the right order to eat them. Let's talk about the what. Let's look at three specific superfoods that you probably have in your kitchen pharmacy right now. First on our list, fenugreek seeds, or as you might know them, methidana. And let me tell you, these tiny little seeds are absolute giants when it comes to controlling blood sugar. So how in the world does it work? Well, it's got this awesome one-two punch. First, it's packed with a soluble fiber that literally slows down how fast sugar gets from your gut into your blood. And second, it has this unique compound that actually gives your pancreas a little nudge to produce more insulin on its own. It's incredible. And you know what the best part is? It's ridiculously easy to do. No complicated recipes. You just soak a spoonful of the seeds in water overnight, and then you eat those soaked seeds first thing in the morning on an empty stomach. That is it. All right, next up is a spice that's probably in your cabinet right now, cinnamon or dalcini. We all know and love that sweet aroma, but believe me, it does so much more than just make things taste good. So, the magic of cinnamon is how it helps your body use sugar more efficiently. It's kind of like a key for your cells. It helps unlock them so they can pull that extra glucose out of your bloodstream and shuttle it into your muscles to be burned for energy. This brings down your blood sugar and helps fight insulin resistance at the same time. And for our third superfood, we've got chia seeds. Now these are amazing, especially when it comes to managing weight, which, as we know, is a huge piece of the puzzle in controlling and reversing diabetes. The power of chia is all in the fiber. 
When you soak them, they do this incredible thing where they swell up and create this gel. That gel in your stomach is a game changer. It slows everything down, which means you stay full for way longer. And it also slows the release of sugar into your system. It's a completely natural way to manage your appetite and your blood sugar. Okay, so these superfoods, they're fantastic. They're like powerful tools in your toolbox. But, and this is really important, they are not magic pills. They work best when you see them as one part of a much bigger picture. So if there's one thing to really focus on here, it's this. Muscle is your best friend in this fight. Seriously, the more muscle you have, the more places your body has to store sugar and the more sensitive it becomes to insulin. So strength training is crucial. Combine that with a high protein, high fiber diet and start your day with a good fat like ghee to lay a stable foundation for the entire day. You see, all of these strategies put you back in the driver's seat. But to really take control of the wheel, you've got to know your starting point. You absolutely have to know your numbers. There is a simple blood test called an HbA1c, and it gives you your average blood sugar over the last few months. Now, I want you to look really closely at that pre-diabetes range on the screen, 5.7 to 6.4. That right there, that is your golden window of opportunity. That is the stage where this condition is absolutely 100% reversible with the kind of lifestyle changes we've been talking about. And really, that's what this all comes down to. Type 2 diabetes isn't some life sentence handed down by your genes or by fate. It is a lifestyle condition. It's built by the small, consistent choices we all make every single day. The power is on your plate. So the real question is, what will you choose to do today?